Uh, today I'm coming to you, I just wanna show you how you can take an image off of Google, upload it to Design Space to your phone, and be able to actually change the colors um, of the image that you found on Google and Design Space app on your phone. So if you're ready to get started, go ahead and open up your design space and let's follow along. So the image that I'm gonna be using today is an image of someone um, suggested in my Boss Beginnings group on Facebook. And if you're not a part of, our, of that group, you might wanna go ahead and find us an ad. And you know, we're our online community that we help and support each other. And if you have questions, I'm there or someone else there will be there to help you. But um, so I'm gonna use those images. So go ahead, if you, ha if you found an image, Go ahead and save it to your phone and let's upload it. So the first thing we do, we're gonna press upload, which is at the bottom um, with the cloud and the arrow pointing up. We're gonna, I already uploaded it, but, but you would just press select photos, um, select photos. Okay, so when you try to upload, the first thing you notice is it's a black screen at the top. So that's fine. You're gonna click remove. Remove is the very bottom to your left, the first option. Um, you're gonna click remove. And then you just tap anywhere on the white part of the screen and it'll take take away the background all right so now so you see we have that so but what i want is i want the you see how the hat is different from the top to the bottom i want it to be white right there so we're gonna uh, tap that clear that out there we go and now we're gonna go in and clear out any spots that need to be whitened out so this is where your machine will cut open so you wanna make sure there's no white spaces left wherever you want your machine to cut out your Cricut. So I'm just going through to the inside of each of the letters and I am removing the white part. So this is what we call cleaning it up. I think I got them all. If not, we can always come back. I didn't mean to press that. All right, so let's go to the next screen. And I think it looks pretty. Nope, I forgot to do the R, so let's go back. And we're gonna make this screen bigger. And let's go to the R and clean out the middle. Now let's go to next. All right, and as you see, I think everything was cleared out. All right, so we're gonna go to next and we're gonna save this as a, a cut image. So trick, R tree. I never do this. I just put some random in here, which you probably shouldn't do. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to click trick or treat and not be lazy. So then you're going to click whatever it is. So it's going to have a green box around it and insert it into your canvas. All right. So now we have, um, we have this. So I see, I didn't see this black line. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. So I'll just, I'll just do a shape. I'll do a square. All right. And I'm going to take the square and I'm just going to cover that black line, and then I'm gonna highlight the whole image, including the the square. So where did I get my square from? I got it from the shapes. The shapes are in the bot at the bottom. Um, it's a square around, and it just says shapes. So now I'm gonna tap the screen and highlight the image and the square. All right, and then we're gonna click actions, which is at the bottom, and we're gonna splice it out. And this way, I can get rid of that line. All right, see, see, now it's detached. I'm just gonna highlight the line X and it's gone and it's gone so now we just have trick-or-treat so before I splice it out to change the different colors uh, I'm first going to highlight it all and I'm gonna duplicate it I always duplicate it just in case I mess up because we're all human right we're gonna duplicate the image we can duplicate it again you know um, and so that if I mess up, I can have, I already have another one uploaded. All right, now, stop what you're doing and you wanna save. And the reason we wanna save is because Design Space doesn't like us, okay? And it will time out. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna do something simple because I don't wanna write that out, TNT. Uh, it will time out and then you did all this and it's gone. All right, so we saved. Now, we already have it highlighted. We're gonna click actions and go all the way to your right hand side until you see hide contour. All right, so now it gives us sexual all contour. All right, so that's all we get. Um, now it gives us the whole picture. 
So now we get to choose what do we want to change colors of. So if I want to trick, like maybe I want the hat black, right? But I don't want our treat black. So I was just going to click each thing that you don't want to see anymore. Just go through and click. And you might have to zoom in to get the small spots. But I'm so, uh oh. And let's get this side piece. It's very simple. All you're doing is clicking it and zoom in and out with your fingertips. All right. Zoom in to get the small piece. Uh -oh. It's not letting me be great. There we go. Let's zoom in here. Get a small, outside small piece. There we go. There we go. And if you're on your computer, it's even easier. Okay. When you press contour, it just gives you all the the pieces, and you can just um, contour as you feel fit. Now let's look. Okay. So we have that one little piece left. So let's, let's highlight again. So now we can cut our hat out to um, whatever it is we want to cut it out to all right so now we have our hat now maybe let's take the next level a layer i'm sorry i'm just gonna hide this for a minute so it won't be in my way go to layers hat we're just gonna hide it while we finish going <gasps> i deleted it okay <laughs> i'm gonna edit this out no maybe i can undo i didn't mean to do that there we go Whew, thank the lord so I just meant to hide it okay. <laughs> while we finish this. Okay, here we go. Now, because I'm working on my phone and you know, I want space. All right, now I want to change maybe tricks to a different color. So th same thing is already highlighted. We're just gonna do hide contour. And this time we're gonna hide the hat. All right. And, and maybe I want trick a different color than I want treat. It depends how you want to do yours. Zoom in. So we're going to pitch the screen. Zoom in more so we get these small spots. Good. Small spots. Good. All right. So now we have our treat. And let's hide our contour and let's do that part. All right. One more. We still have one line. Zoom in. All right. So treat, okay? And you see you have, you can cut that out. So now we have this layer. And if you didn't want or, you know, you could always, you know, contour that out. So let's go back to our layers and I'm gonna hide that now. All right, and now we have this last and we want treat by itself. So again, hide contour. And we're gonna hide the hat and this hat's layers. Which one did we do last time? I don't remember. But we're gonna leave treat. If not, we'll just do the other side. Don't be like me. Remember what you just did. All right. Almost finished. So now you have treat by itself. All right, now we're gonna go back to the layers. Okay, so we did treat twice. <laughs> okay, whatever. So we got treat by itself. Uh, let's go back to it, I'm sorry. High contour. So we're gonna open up treat, bring treat back. And we're gonna... Okay, so is that right? So now we have our friend treat back. Make sure you get the small pieces too, guys. You have to zoom in to get to those. All right. 
and this should be gone. All right, so now we have tricked. Let's get trick back and let's get the hat back. And now you can just highlight whatever you want, go to edit. Uh oh, sorry. All right, you're gonna go to edit. So I'm gonna make that red. I'm gonna keep the hat black and I'm gonna make this orange. So edit, highlight the, the words and then trick or treat and you can keep that black and now you have layers and again don't forget to save all right and now you have your layers instead of it all one color and when you print out you just need to put in the binding.